pulled in all directions at once by kids, work, and aging parents. We're part of the sandwich generation, caught up in the swirl of the family dance. On this family dance, two stories. We need to find our own house and call it home. The last year and a half has been focused on my mom's needs. On a previous episode, Marcy's 85-year-old mother, Charlotte, had hip replacement surgery and could no longer live on her own. Marcy took her to look at nursing homes, but nothing was suitable. Now, a decision must be made. You can stay with me and we can make changes if you don't want to yeah. go there. You make the choice to go there, that's fine, but you don't have to. I don't have to do anything. Hey, 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 hey! I'll hold her under her arm. Just, uh... Is it warm in the sun? Well, we can bring you something. I hear your shoulders cracking, Mom. So much has happened. The broken femur, the loss of her house, the loss of her marriage, her breaking her hip again, her being in the hospital, and now her living with me. Okay. Oh, oh, oh no. No, 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 you're in the sun. Mars, please. It's a denim hat. No, you're in the sun. So I'm in the sun. No. Good deal. First of all, you look good. Second no, of all, I Mom. Don't. Okay, just leave it here. like that. No, that doesn't look good. <laughs> that doesn't look good. Tell her I don't want it on. Put it on. Put on your glasses. That's what is up in the air. Now, where would my mother be calling home? Like, for me, I'm resigned to the fact that it, it most likely and probably will be here. I want her here. Hey, Tova, so That's why here. I'm spending my time getting estimates from contractors. Yeah? Mario. Oh, hi, Mario. Sorry, you? I didn't see you were there. I'm looking for the training list. Thank you. I want to ramp this out. Yeah, I want to ramp this out like with an interlock or something, something nice, not wheelchair looking. I want this like level to about, well, even to here yep. or to here, and then slope fr yep. out from there all the way to the sidewalk curved into the driveway. Yes, that's what I, and I want us to be able to sit here in this spot in the grass. Okay, what you're asking for then is to swing a, out two, a, a two section type sloped walkway. Okay. I want to see her pain. I want to be able to report to the doctor. I just want to be there to help her, um, even even with help. I just want to be in touch with what's going on. Used with um, a shower commode chair or um, I prefer a shower to, stool. I prefer to make it that that I can wheel. If I'm already going this way and it's a garage, it's easy right. to lower the floor. Okay. So this whole area here, from beside the toilet to, mm -hmm. for, to this wall, would be the, the door into the shower. Right. That, if we can uh, go over about a foot this way. Yeah. Okay. Why not consider this spot for because your shower? Because it's for my yeah. But well, because it's for my fridge. But I can't give up right? my fridge. I, I don't need to give up anything if I go into okay. the garage. Okay. The, the same amount of work is involved. But I'm not losing my fridge. Okay. No, no, that's I'm fine. Not, so I'll have to put the fridge in the bathroom. That's fine. Yeah. I, I <laughs> just suggest. Yeah. <laughs> I will come through with, you know, like a budget cost on this okay. more than anything based on certain things. It can be without finishes, without, um, you know, just with uh, either just labor or labor and raw material. So where the money's coming from, I don't know. Over the next few weeks, I've got to, we've got to make up our minds, whoever we is, because I have to know whether to start construction. I don't want to delay it. I, I don't want to delay it if she's to stay here. I want to make her comfortable. Good afternoon everybody, welcome to Chapters at Renny Theatre. Um, it's our great pleasure to have author Gina Valley with us this afternoon and she'll be reading and doing a discussion from her book, Our Grandmothers Ourselves. So please join us in welcoming her to our store. And it took a long time to, to uh, collect these stories because as I've come to understand, whenever you have a project in life, life gets in the way. So you think that you're going to sit down at the computer and do a bit of writing, and guess what? You have a shower to attend, or a birthday party to go to, or you have a child, or the child starts to cry, and I throw my hands up in the air and say, life gets in the way, don't fight it, just 
do what you need to do, and then get back to your writing schedule. Vroom, vroom. Est-ce que tu vas être sage? Maman va préparer le repas. Et comme ça, on peut continuer à manger. Pram, ta da 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 Clink. Boom. <laughs> My husband and I moved with our son Gabriel from Montreal to Toronto. And so we said, well, why don't we move with my parents and, and see what happens and then uh, we'll continue to look for home. So they very kindly have opened up Ooh, their place to us. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. We moved because I w believe strongly in Gabriel having, uh, getting to know his family and knowing his family well, his grandparents. Secondly, after my grandmother had the stroke, I, it was very important for me to have a strong presence in my grandmother's life before she died. And uh, thirdly, my husband travels quite a bit and I wanted to complete my PhD thesis, but still be a good parent. And I didn't think I could be a good parent and still complete my PhD thesis, but being here, my parents are very supportive. And oh, okay. so we've been able to do all of that. David travel, me complete my thesis, and uh, sort of go from there. No budget, no, no. Eh? Hi, Nana. This is your height. I'm so far. With a grand cap, two covers. I have a big plastic cap with a big wind. My uh, grandmother is 96 years of age. She uh, arrived in Canada in 1963 and uh, has been with us now for 38 years. She had a stroke last March, so it's been one year. This is where she spends most of her day. As you may or may not know, some cultural groups feel very uncomfortable with nursing homes and feel that it's the responsibility of the younger generation to take care of the elders. She rests in the afternoon around 4, 4.30. I'm usually downstairs working at the computer, working on my thesis or some of my other writing. I come up, I turn her to the other side, I give her some juice, pull the blinds up, put the TV on. And if I'm not rushing to do something, I actually turn on TV and watch, you know, 10 minutes of Oprah while I'm giving my grandmother the juice and it gives me a chance to watch my 10 minutes of TV. Uh, Mary dropped off a couple of more real estate listings, so maybe we can look at those and... Sure. Of course, because it's the summer, things are pretty bad. There's not much out there. So, um, upstairs we have uh, four bedrooms. We have... Uh, our bedroom that's right there, David and mine. And over here we have my parents' bedroom. So it's right across the corridor. In the corner, we have my uh, grandmother's bedroom. She's there. And then we've got the bathroom here. It is cozy. <laughs> it is cozy. Privacy doesn't exist in my parents' immediate understanding. I understand it because I'm very Canadian. I think that that is, uh, can be quite challenging for a couple. And it certainly has been challenging for my husband and myself. And the patio, David, Gabrielle and I live downstairs. David and I have been married for seven years and we've just started our family. So we need to fund our own house and, and move from here and still be very present for my parents and my grandmother, but, uh, but have a, a home for ourselves. And it's been a year we've been here, so it's becoming pressing. But uh, I think we're, we'd like to wait for the right place rather than rush into it. That's how come we are taking our time and that's how come we're discouraged, but we're not desperate. So. Oh, but oui, c'est parce qu'il est fatigué, le petit garçon. C'est parce qu'il est fatigué. Does this come half or whatever I can have half order because I want half order of everything. My mom has to move out of her apartment. She's going to be living with me. So we've packed up everything. We've sold all 
the bulk of her furniture. And uh, we're coming here for lunch before we go to my mom's apartment. Um, she's going to have her last shower in her apartment. The edging isn't nice, and this needs to be shaped a little. This needs some shaping. It's too raggy. Raggedy. Stuff's going to Marcy's garage. That is, I would say, over 70 years old. Because my father's like when I was a kid. These chairs. The end of an era. Mm. I should be very thankful that she wants me. Mm. Uh, oh, I can't read. I haven't got my glasses. Oh, happy set. Look at that. That's great. Happy seventy fifth. Yeah. Yeah. It's really a milestone in the life when you have to make such a drastic change. So, oh, you found a chair. The last year and a half has been focused on my mom's needs, you know, along with my children's needs going through a lot of anger. Sometimes I get angry because my mother's growing old. And, uh... Older. I, no, you're growing old. And what is old? And who is old? I think you rely, have to rely on me more than I rely on you at this stage of our lives. I used to always rely on you. I've had trouble accepting that because I've always thought my, my mother will be here and that my mother's mind will always be here. Ooh, on va manger la pomme. On va manger la pomme. How are you feeling up to talking about houses? Okay, sure. Uh, Mary dropped something off today? Yeah, she dropped off some stuff, but uh, gosh, it's discouraging. Here's that one. No, I remember this house. Yeah, this is a nice, this is a reasonably nice house. Probably out of our price range, though. What else is there? You know, the other night my mom was saying, "Oh, maybe we, you guys could buy a place and rent it out with, to all your friends that are moving back into the city." But uh, I mean, I guess that's one option because I can't believe it. I can't. Well, I'm. Yeah, I. I don't know. I'd rather uh, I'd rather not also have to deal with tenants myself. Yeah. Oh, jeez. We thought yeah. the spring we'd have something. Yeah. Find something in the fall or Christmas, you know, in the winter, and then move in for the spring. Or at least that's what I thought. Yeah. Here we are, and we still haven't found anything. It's tomorrow, Wednesday. Maybe on Thursday I can go and look at some of these places. If I think that you might be interested, maybe we can go on the weekend together. Sure, that sounds good. Because I think in general you're, you're more picky than I am about the house, so why don't you look first and then... Do you think that's a female thing? <laughs> I don't know. We are making sure that we find the right house and we don't feel at all pressured to move right away. It's gonna be yet another transition for myself, David, my parents, especially for Gabby. We want to find a home within 10 minutes of my parents' house so that they are very present in our lives and especially in Gabrielle's. And then this is the large kitchen I was telling you about. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Now they have the original co cupboard, but they've put the, uh, the new Countertop. Yeah. This is big. Lots of stairs here. I noticed the floors do not creak. You're right, you're right. So this is, wow, so this is a great room for a little person. 
My fear of moving is not being able to cope on my own. There's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to carry on the professional life that I would like once we leave my parents' home and still be a good mother to Gabrielle. There's no way because my parents help out in the morning. I work late into the night to work on my thesis. But when we move, group, that all that's going to have to shift. Yeah, I got my neighbor to do it. So. Yes, I can't hear anything. I got trying to cook. No, I don't have any challah. You're right, I don't. Who's here? Go see who's here, please, Gersh. These are like a chocolate bar. This is ridiculous. These are the kids' cookies. Don't eat the kids' cookies. They're very, very sweet. These are like a chocolate bar. Don't make me reprimand you. I can have Mom, this is the occasional sugar. There is sugar in there. Don't tell me about occasional. This is very high. I don't want you falling, and I don't want you having liver, liver damage. I won't tolerate that. That's enough. You got, you want sweet, you can have some sugar-free ice cream. You can have your low sugar cookies. We're getting along. It's the first bite we've had. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I never even tried the uh, thing is I do have the occasional sweet. I am allowed it. I'm allowed to. But with her, it's so damn strict. Yeah, yeah. I haven't tried it. Actually I feel in um what shall I say that I'm not in my, that I'm not able. I don't know whether I'm right or wrong, like making her do something, encouraging her to do something, or telling her not to go back to sleep in the morning, or like things like this that are more on the emotional uh, level. women writers uh, and we talk about all issues and it gives us all an opportunity to discuss what may be on our minds or mm -hmm. the acknowledgments who do you first time you see your book in the store yeah what an experience oh I'll never forget it yeah we've got lots of copies it's selling well I mean that's something I would love to hear yeah so when I go into it right now. <laughs> for the next few years I don't think yeah, hi dad just was wondering if everything was okay with Gabrielle Oh, goodness, he didn't sleep much. Okay, thanks again, Dad. Okay, thanks. Ciao. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Thank you. See you later. Now, we're going to U of T uh, to, to have a meeting with my thesis supervisor, and then after that, I have to go to the bookstore and the bank and the library, and then pick up my husband, go to look at a house, and then pick up my son at the sitters, and then go home and somehow have something for dinner that is relatively nutritious and uh, delicious and uh, collapsed tonight. Um, I'm just wondering if we should still go with this weather. You think so, eh? Okay, David. Okay, merci, à bientôt. Bye-bye. We're still looking and it's going to be a long time before we find something. I, I know it will be just the, the prices are, I think we have to perhaps scale back or scale down our expectations. And I thought we were being reasonable looking for a three bedroom. And so it's going to be a while before we find a house. That's for sure. <laughs> it's really raining out there. Basically, we weren't able to afford any of the houses we looked at this week, so it looks like we'll be staying here a little longer. But I guess that means that Gabrielle will get a chance to spend a bit more time with my grandmother while she's still here with us. 
grazie. Come è bravo su Waiunilu, grazie. Grazie. Oh! Dice bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. They finally came this week. They dug it up yesterday. Um, they brought these trucks in about an hour, hour and a half. They had the whole driveway and the whole walkway uh, dug up. But she hasn't tried it yet. I'd like her to, to try it. Who's well, it came out beautiful. I'm very happy the way it came out. Yeah, I'll get my mom to, to try very it. Very nice. Just talking now. Very nice. Changed the whole look in the house. Looks nice. Yeah. Marcy makes me as comfortable as I can, and um, I try not to be in the way. <laughs> what do you think of the ramp? It's not bad. It's quite, very nice. Do you it's think nice. it's steep? Do you think it's good? We haven't even tried it yet. It seems steep. But it seems steep? Yeah. Yeah, she has to try it. Ma? With the walker. Where are you? With the walker. You just stand beside her and make sure she doesn't lose her down. Now use your brakes, Mom. Put your hands, don't hold the thing. You use the brakes to slow you down. It's a matter of getting used to. But you must use your brakes to, to slow you down. Like if you're tired, you may fall backwards. It'll all be getting used to. We'll just see as time goes on. I mean, this is it. You know, you never know what you're getting when you, when you, uh, when you do something. Come on, good girl, good girl. Come on. The ramp is fine for me. It's good for me.